So, I'm a big Will Smith cheerleader. I've liked him since Men in Black, um, Fresh Prince, really. Um, actually, parents just don't understand. I've liked that fool since then. Um, and then I worked on Enemy of the State in Baltimore, like working background. And I'm sitting on this boat in the middle of the harbor. It's freezing cold. And Will Smith comes down. You know, he's got ear warmers on his ears or hand warmers on his ears. And um, this lady comes down. And she goes, okay, who hasn't been upstairs yet? And I'm the first one. I'm like, oh, but she's got her back to me. And him, this big ass celebrity with ear warmers, hand warmers on his ears is like, yo, dude, that kid put his hand up first. And I'm just like, Will Smith must be the coolest dude ever. Oh my God. So ever since then, anybody asks me about celebrity stories, I'm like, Will Smith, the coolest dude ever, probably because he did this. So I'm going to watch him smack the shit out of Chris Rock, Rock and then I'm going to react to it. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win! <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord! Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? He thinks it's funny. She's just like, it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. He fucking slapped wow. the shit out of me. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Inappropriate. Get my name out your fucking mouth. I mean, he's cussing me. Wow, dude. Why didn't you say that in this face, It was face, a G.I. Why'd you go and sit down and say that shit? my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I'm going to, okay? He's mad, obviously. <laughs> oh, I can, oh, okay. That was a uh, greatest night in the history of television. That looked like peer pressure to me. I mean, it, honestly, it looked like peer pressure. It looked like he thought it was kind of funny. Like, I heard she was saying she had, like, a bald spot and stuff. So when that happened, before I watched it, like, when it happened and went down, I was like, oh, it's probably because he's making fun of a disability and she ain't got no control over it. It makes her feel uncomfortable. And also, Chris Rock, you know, he made, a, a like, a documentary. That's why he was, you know, giving out a documentary Oscar because he made a documentary in 2009 about black girls and how you shouldn't make fun of their hair. Jada was like... Boy, you better get up and fucking do something. And that's exactly what he did. Um, I can't say that that's a good, healthy relationship. It would have been a better use of this situation to go up there and Kanye out and say, look, dude, that's a disability. And I need you to apologize right now on national television. Because that's just not cool. Like, that would have been way cooler because, you know, obviously Chris Rock has you know, some kind of a sympathy toward good hair, right? That's his documentary, Good Hair. So they could have taken that time instead of, you know, the smack hurt around the world. Like it could have been, you know, a good like PSA for alopecia, you know, a, a cause they both care about, right? So I don't know. Let's watch it again. Follow through. Chris Rock is like ready with that. He's like, what? Is this going to... Are you... What? Yeah, he totally did. I feel like he pulled that slap. You really should have said that in his face. Like going to sit down and then saying that shit is just like... I'm going to, okay? That was a... So, yeah, I don't agree with the whole greatest night in the history of television. I mean, Jack Ruby got shot on live television. Um, the Hindenburg. Um, War of the Worlds. I mean, that was radio, but still. Um, the Challenger explosion. I mean, the, the first night, the 95th Oscars to air. Like, you know that, um, you know that uh, employees like no, no accidents for this many days it was like 95 years no violence and then now it's to zero maybe they should rename it oh 
be like, oh shit, it's tainted, so we gotta rename it something. I don't know, I feel like at the after party, Chris and Will was like, all right, how much? My bad, I'm sorry. Is it 10 million? Million? Like, I feel like Chris Rock is definitely gonna get a million dollars from from Will, at the very least. Like, definitely gonna be a million. But you know, it's it sets this terrible precedent. It really does it. It's like, you know, now comedians are gonna have to like be afraid of who's gonna like come up and smack them on stage. It just it's the same thing with fucking, you know, the whole situation with Chappelle, dude. Like what Dave Chappelle said in the closer was fucking hilarious. It's fucking hilarious. There's nothing there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It is fucking funny. And the people that it's about fucking know it's fucking funny. But the thing is, Dave celeb Dave is such a huge fucking star in the African American community. Like black people are all about some Dave Chappelle, bro. He's like God. It's the comic God, dude. And like black people are fucking homophobic, dude. It's like Christianity. You know, it's like it's because of the Christian beliefs that are completely perverted. All right. I mean, Christianity, don't even get me started on that crap. Like, you believe in this. I mean, it's a fucking religious, you know, zealotry as far as the eye can see. If you can believe in this imaginary person, you have to believe him. But you have to also believe in his son. And his son is the God, not him. So in the First Testament, they're like, okay, with Ten Commandments, the first four commandments are about me, 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 me. Don't believe in anybody by about. Don't believe in anybody but me. Don't fucking make statues about anybody but me. Don't do shit but me, 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 me. You know, they're all fucking me, me, me. And then all of a sudden, no, no, no. But wait, I forgot to mention that in like a couple hundred years, I'm going to have just one son. I mean, you guys can have like fucking 50, 100 of them. How many did um, Genghis Khan have, right? All the kids. Genghis Khan had all the fucking kids. Everybody, the, every fucking place he fucking conquered, he fucked everybody. Everybody's got Genghis Khan in them, probably. Most people have Genghis Khan in them. So what was I saying? African American community is super fucking homophobic. They, they are, okay? Most of the fucking black trans kids were kicked out of their fucking homes and disowned by their fucking families because of this stupid pretend bullshit. Okay? You want to tell me that fucking something that is so magnanimous that can create all of this and everything else and all the universes and all the stars and all the fucking galaxies and yet he can only have one kid. And he's not going to even mention it until the, you know, the second group of Touched in the head fools that are hearing voices that they say are God. Bitch, please. Please. Anyway. Um, black people are super religious. So. It's like, it's like Trump and the Klan, dude. It's literally the same thing. It's Trump goes on television and is like, oh, there's good people on both sides. You're saying the Klan, first thing fucking Trump did when he got in office was take the fucking Ku Klux Klan off the terrorist watch list. The FBI has a list of terrorists. The Klan was on it until Trump took office. So, you know, like, I mean, it was a perfect opportunity for the FBI to start taking names. You know what I mean? These fools were coming out of the woodwork. Look what they did on January 6th. Emboldened by this motherfucker. So... Having the fucking god of comedy come out and say, yo, dude, these trannies aren't fucking real. They're fucking pretending to be some shit that they're not. It's damaging. It's fucking damaging. You know, it's it's bad, dude. It's not cool. That's just not cool. So that's why it's not that it isn't funny, okay? It's just funny. But like, it's just so fucking damaging. You know, you're basically saying you're green lighting. All the trans kids. And most of those kids that are getting attacked are black kids. So it's not even like hating on fucking 
whitey or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, maybe he didn't understand that. You know, when he goes off talking about his his friend, his trans friend that killed themselves, like, because they stood up for him, did did the trans person have his phone number? Was Was that person, was that woman able to call him and say, yo, dude, these people are coming at me. Any advice? I doubt it. I fucking doubt it. I sincerely doubt it. 